Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. God is good. And all the time. Amen. Let us all pray. Ato ang iduko, ang atong mga ulo, ugipi yung atong mga mata. Hallelujah. Abba Father, we come before you, Jesus, today by your precious blood. Lord, we acknowledge that without you, we are nothing. Wala gud kami mahimo, Lord God. If not for your goodness and if not for your grace, Lord, where would we be? And Lord, today we just offer our lives to you, God. We pray that today we will surrender ourselves, Lord, to the move, O oh God. To your move, Abba Father, in our lives. I pray, Lord, that today, O oh God, will be a day of um, your working transformation in our lives. And I pray, Lord God, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Hallelujah, Lord. Walay mga kakulian, O oh God, na mga mahitabo, Lord, sa mong mga pagdaig, sa mong pagsimba, sa mong pangalan, Lord. Because you alone is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let's give God a mighty clap offering of praise, church. Amen. So, nakita niyo ng picture. Ayan. You know, there was a moment when Moses had the nerve to ask God what his name is. Nanguta na si Moses, unsa di mo pangalan? Wala pa siya kabalo kung how to address. No? And God was gracious enough to answer, and the name he gave is recorded in the original Hebrew, YHWH. Kita daw danan, let's say, YHWH. And over time, kita na lang ang nagbutang dira og A, og E. Maong tawag na to, Ana, Yahweh. Say the word, Yahweh. Yahweh. Amen. But scholars and rabbis have noted that the letter Yahweh or Y-H-W-H represent breathing sounds. Sige daw, every one of us, let's all breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So, ana siya, when pronounced without vowels, walay A, walay E, it actually sounds like breathing. Ang Y-H, di ba? Inhale. W-H, exhale. Sige daw kita tanan. Inhale. Exhale. So, the baby's first cry, his first breath, speaks the name of God. Wow. Unang paghinga pa lang na to, church, nag-worship na ta kay Lord. Amen? Even ang atheist, Wala siya naghuna-huna, but even the breathing sa isa ka atheist, isa ka wala nagtuo sa ginoo, actually is worship because nag breathe siya. And even when a person will leave earth, pag mamatay na ta, we can still worship God through our breathing. Yahweh. And now church, when we think about it, Everything we do is praise. Tama ba? Mas kiti ni tamang antakaron. We are praising God because every breath that goes out of our lungs is worship. But you know what, church? The challenge today is to give God more than that, more than the breath in our lungs, more than what we do, what we act. Our worship is our heart. Diha sa ginoo. Amen po ba? Manindog tang tanan. And I know and I believe, church, that God inhabits the praises of His people. Labaw pa sa atong pag-breathe in and breathe out karon. God deserves the highest praise. Amen po ba? Amen. Amen. Pwede ba nato isa ka atong mga kamot? Sa pagdai sa atong bingan Diyos, ang atong ingnon, ginoong Diyos, imuha niya akong mga kamot. Ginoong Diyos, imuha niya akong mga tiil. Ginoong Diyos, simuha niya akong kasing-kasing, Lord. It is all yours, O oh God. We will just shout the name of Yahweh in this place. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Amen. 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 Church, let us clap our hands like this. One, two, three, and... Come on, every, every hand will clap. Amen. Lahat ng mga may kamay. Hallelujah. Now we are.
the reason why we breathe, Lord. You're the reason why we live. And our purpose is to worship you, God. Yahweh.
every time. Oh, glory to Jesus. Oh, glory to Jesus alone. Bye. 
Don't you feel the warmth of your Help us find a way Help me find surrender as a symbol of worship, oh God. We believe, Lord, wala pang kanahuman sa iyong pagpamuhat sa among matag kinabuhi, Lord. You are indeed working, oh God. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, Lord. You are our Yahweh. You are our Yahweh. You are our reason. You are our living God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, church, let us give God a mighty clap offering of praise. For the Lord deserves it. He deserves, He deserves the highest praise. 
and honor today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To you be glory, O oh Lord, power and praise. And the people of the Lord will now shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. to say to your seatmates, God bless you. Happy to see you. Happy to see all of you. I miss you. <laughs> it's been a while, two weeks to be exact, that um, I was not here. And um, it's, it's really a blessing to be with you once more on this fourth Sunday. Wow. What a blessed day it is. Hallelujah. Sige, lingi idoin yung katupad, palihog, and say, I am blessed that you are here. Sige. I am blessed that you are here. Sige daw, kanin mga young people. I am blessed, lingi idoin yung katupad, ingna, I am blessed that you are here. Ayan. Kani itong mga kauban din he, I am blessed that you are here. Sige. Wow. And also, itong mga kauban din sa left side, I am blessed that you are here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning. Welcome to the house of the Lord. Kumusta ang matag -usa? I missed all of you. Sundays, two Sundays, seems like forever that um, I cannot um, see you in the church. But praise the Lord. The, the schedule was so hectic. Ten-minute break of all our sessions starting from 6 a.m. up to 7 p.m. And so, 10-minute break, it was really um, uh, draining, but praise the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord really moved mightily, and in our tabernacle worship, God just sent His Holy Spirit, and we felt the presence of the Lord in our midst. Hallelujah. By the way, Pastor Anthony Velasco, our national overseer, um, speaks blessings to all of us here in COG Sasa with uh, Sister Gigi um, supporting our leadership here. And to God be all the glory. Palakpakan nato atong ginoo. Thank you. Kay naadin hikaron si Regina Grace Bangis for digon. Thank you for coming. Nakabakasyon. And Regilene May Bangis. Naadi po din hikaron. Wow, praise the Lord. Thank you for coming. It's really a blessing to have uh, each one of you. Sige, while we pray, itaas daw ninyo inyohang, itapik ninyo inyong mga kamot sa inyohang mga katupad. Ayan. Tapik ninyo. Sige, tapik. And then, um, just do that as we pray so that we will pray for each other, okay? I do believe that we need each other to to um, have the manifest presence of our Lord. Sige. Sige. Ang maglingkod na ang tanan, no? And then, sige, itapik ninyo inyohang mga, mong mga arms or hands toward each other. Sige. And we will pray. I want all of you to lay your hands over in yung mga katupad and we will pray. Okay? Close your eyes. And we will bow down our heads in prayer. Almighty God and Heavenly Father, we are so blessed, O God, this morning that we are here, O Lord, in your house, O Lord. It is always a welcome experience and a wonderful experience to be encountering you, O God, in our worship, in our thanksgiving, in our prayer, O Lord, in the word of the Lord, as we speak the word of the Lord, O God, to each and every one of us. We pray, O Lord, that you will continue to manage our lives. You will continue, O God, to touch our spirits right now. Kami ginoo nga gitapion namo among mga kamot, sa among mga katupad. I pray, dear Jesus Christ, ng Holy Spirit, maugayod ang mukig istorya ka namo. Lord God, I pray, Lord God, na dili minimo ikos nga mag-istoryahanay mi sa mong kilid, O Lord, but instead maminaw mi sa imong mga pulong. I believe, O God, you will speak to us. You will speak, O Lord, to all of us, O God, this morning. And Lord, I pray, dear Jesus, for your Holy Spirit to just continue to convict us, O Lord. Give us the balance of this service. Open our hearts 
oh God, and open our minds, oh God, so that we will understand your word. And that, oh Lord, we will grasp, oh God, the message of the word of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We shall continue with our series. All of us know, atong series is we cultivate the culture of authentic discipleship and intentional disciple making. Cultivating the prayer of fast, mo ng pinakauna nato. Cultivating the culture of accountability group and cultivating the culture of punctuality and stewardship. So, atong sub-series nga atong ginatutukan karon is cultivating the culture of punctuality and stewardship. So, atong theme for two Sundays already. Last Sunday, Edsel talked about the power of the biblical telic and I will continue with that. So, this will be the last sub-series on our power of the biblical telic and i will be talking about the urgency of the hour the urgency of the hour is to have a purpose driven life say it with me purpose driven life purpose driven life diri daw din hi daw ka kusga daw ninyo purpose driven life and all of us i want for you to close your eyes. Sige, everybody close your eyes. Dili lang bukahon ang mata, ipiyong daw. Ipiyong ninyo inyong mga mata and think about your life right now. Think about your family. Think about your situation. In the family. Think about your church. Okay, pwede na bukahon. Unsa inyong nakita sa inyong pagpiyong? Because I told you to think about your life, to think about your family. To think about your position in the family. Unsa inyong nakita? I don't know with you, pero basig, nana mo'y vision para sa imong kinabuhi. Basig, nana mo'y vision para sa imuhang pamilya. Have you ever looked at the sky at night? Have you ever looked at the stars? Have you ever looked around the beauty of our planet and wondered, why am I here? Did you ever ask yourself, what's the purpose of my life? Look at the constellation. Tanawa ninyo ni nga picture. I'm sure makita ninyo diha sa gawas, sa likod. Think about this picture. The constellation. The group of stars that looks like a particular shape in the sky. Ang kanyang mga stars are far away from the earth. Some stars in a constellation might be close while others are very far away from the earth. The planet, the stars, and the vastness of heaven. Sa kawanangan, sa kadako sa heaven. Tuldok lang judta. Asa kaya kaana. Sa kadaku, sa heavenly realm, tuldok lang yun ta. Asa kakayaan na diha. And can you imagine how minute, how little we are, yet the Lord value us so much. But as we begin with our theme, or topic for this morning, let me ask you, what is your purpose? Kung tuldok lang ka, Ana, unsa ang imuhang katuyuan? What is your purpose? What purpose of life would you want to embrace? The power 
of the biblical telic is calling us to be in the urgency of the hour. The urgency of the hour. Kung ikaw o ako nakakita lang sa dako kaayo na heavenly realm. O tuldok lang ta. Pero give value ta sa Ginoo. What is the urgency of the hour? If I may ask you, young people nga nasa tubangan, what is the urgency of the hour? Unsa ang urgent para kanimo? Unsa ang mga urgent nga dapat nimong himuon karon? What is the urgency of the hour? The urgency of the hour is a call for a purpose-driven life. Why am I here? What is my purpose? Why do I do what I do? Nga nung ginahimo na ako, ang ako mga ginahimo karon. What drives me to do what I do? Do I really have a purpose here in this world? Kaya kung wala na ko'y katuyuan din, eh, pwede na ko irekun sa ginoo. Kabalo ka ba kung sa purpose ni mo, nga nung naaka din, eh, sa kalibutan? Nga nung ipanganak ka sa imuhang ginikanan? Nga nung naaka diri ka ron sa simbahan? Do you know your purpose? Answer that question because that is the urgency of the hour. It is a call for a purpose-driven life. Dili pwede magkinabuhi ta na wala ta kabalo, unsay katuyuan nato. Kay nga no man, daw sawaay lang ang atong kinabuhi, wala tay direction. Let us all answer this question. My Lord, how can today be purposeful for your honor? Every day dapat ka na ang atong ipangutana. Ginoo ko, unsaon kaya nako nga ang Karun, today, mahimong purposeful nga na ay katuyuan para sa imong honor. Lord, unsaon kaya nako nga ang karun, mahimong purposeful na ay katuyuan para makahatag og honor kanimo. Makahatag og glory kanimo. We've learned last Sunday that telic is a purposeful tending towards the goal. Meaning to say, when you want a goal, there has to be a telic. There has to be a purposeful tending. Dapat na ay direction. The power of the telic is living with a clear sense of purpose. Say it with me. Clear sense of purpose. Kaya kung wala tay klaro, nga katuyuan, wala takabalo kung unsa atong katuyuan din sa kalibutan, why we are living here on earth, dili na to magunitan ang atong goal. O di na to makabuot atong atong goal. Kaya nga naman, diri ka pa dulong, diri ka pa sa pikas pa dulong, anaaman nung taka dito. But if you have that telic, if you have, if you embrace the power of the telic, you have a clear sense of purpose, then you are able to get your goal. The power of the biblical telic is or begins with a faithful inner compass. Kabalo namang yung taon sa ang compass, di ba? A compass is a device that indicates direction. Compass. It indicates direction. I think you mentioned po na ni Pastor Edsel last Sunday. The compass is one of the most important instruments for navigation. Kung mag-sail ka sa ocean, dili pwede na wala kay compass. Kay basig ma matuk matukob ka sa um, sa shark. Okay. Maski asa na ka na direction. Muad to unta ka dito sa pikas, dili na lang ka makaabot. Kay nga man, wala kay Compass and four of us to have that power of biblical telic, dapat na atay faithful inner compass. Why? Because steering this life without a compass is leading us to nowhere. So sa atong direction sa atong kinabuhi, we are always faced with a question: What is my direction in life? What is my purpose? What is my direction in life? What navigates me? What navigates me? O kung ako mong pangutan on, 
Who is your inner compass? Who is faithful not to lead you somewhere but to someone? Let me ask you that question once more. Who is your inner compass? Who is faithful to lead you to someone? Who is that faithful inner compass? As we go along, we will start by reading our scripture text. And as a sign of respect to the reading of the Word of God, will you please stand up with me, please? And we will read Colossians 1, 23 to 29, beginning with verse 23 altogether. If indeed you continue in the faith, stable and steadfast, not shifting from the hope of the gospel that you heard, which has been proclaimed in all creation under heaven, and of which I, Paul, became a minister. Now I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I am filling up what is lacking in Christ's afflictions for the sake of his body, that is the church, of which I became a minister according to the stewardship from God that was given to me for you to make the word of God fully known. 26 and 27, the mystery hidden for ages and generations, but now revealed to his saints. To them, God chose to make known how great among the Gentiles are the riches of the glory of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Him, we proclaim, warning everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom that we may present everyone mature in Christ. 29, for this I told, that's Paul telling, struggling with all his energy that he powerfully works within me. Please be seated in the lovely name of Jesus. Okay? I'm sure na amoy mga notebooks. Nakita na ako si Ma'am Doty nag-distribute og notebooks. Sige, taas daw ninyo yung mga notebook. Ayan, very good. And list down our scripture text. What is our scripture text? Colossians 1, 23 to 29. Very good. Now, the power of the biblical telic. What is the purpose of living? Why God place you here in this world? Why God place you in your family? Why God place you in your church? The COG Sasa. Why? What is the purpose, faith? What is the purpose? What is the purpose, faith? Why you are being placed here in this church? Why you are being placed in the Sasa church? Mga young people, kabalo ba mo ang sa'y katuuyuan? Nga nung naa mo, gibutang mo sa ginoo, sa compassion? Para naa mo diri sa simbahan? One thing is sure, listen very carefully. All of us were placed here to serve God and take care of one another as part of His family. Hallelujah. Watch this video, please. Nali gamay na typo errors sa lower thirds lyrics. But all of us were placed here to serve God and to take care of one another as part of His family. Let's watch this video. Once upon a time, there was a very lazy man in a village. He would keep trying to get food without doing any hard work. One morning, while wandering around the countryside, he decided to steal some apples to eat. As soon as he tried to pick an apple, a farmer saw him and started okay, coming at him. The, the lazy man got scared and ran into the forest nearby to hide. Uh, 
While walking through the forest, he saw an old wolf with only two legs. The man wondered how that wolf was surviving with him. This is an inspirational story and I hope may kakapulutan po na aral. Once upon a time, there was a very lazy man in a village. He would keep trying to be, to get food without doing anything. One morning, while wandering around the countryside, he decided to steal some apples to eat. As soon as he tried to pick an apple, a farmer saw him and started coming at him. The lazy man got scared, ran into the forest. While walking through the forest, he saw an old wolf with only two legs. The man wondered how the wolf was surviving with only two legs. The wolf could not run or feed himself, and there were threats from other animals. But he was happily crawling around. Suddenly, he saw a lion coming towards the wolf with a piece of meat in its mouth. The lazy man climbed up the tree to save himself, but the wolf stayed because the lion had the meat for him. The man eyed that very wonderful experience. The lazy man felt happy seeing God's play. So he started to think that God always has a plan set to take care of his creations. Then he believed that God must have something, someone to feed him. So he left to find a place to sit and wait for that someone to feed him. He waited and waited. He waited there for two days without any food. Finally, he couldn't bear the hunger and left. He met an old sage on the way. He told everything to the sage and asked, Oh, wise man, God showed mercy to the, to the wolf, the crippled wolf. The old sage answered, It's true that God has a plan for everyone. You are obviously a part of his plan. But son, you took his signs the wrong way. He didn't want you to be like the wolf. He wanted you to be like the lion. Because kita gusto nato always makatake. Dili ta gusto mo give. Dili, unsa yung purpose na to? Ang purpose na ko, ma'am love, paeskulahon lang ko sa kong ginikanan, tagaan lang ko ka ng allowance sa compassion, tagaan lang ko o ka ng baon, kada trabaho na ko, swelduhan ko, walay, puro take, walay give. And sometimes, ang anak taka lazy, I'm sorry for the word, lazy, na maghulat lang ta, nga na ay lion, nga nagtangag o karne, para hatagan ta. Remember, our purpose in life is to serve God and to take care of one another as a part of His family. Amen ba? Amen. Pasensya na kay wala yun na tarong ang video. That is why there is a critical need to stay purpose-focused. Say, purpose-focused. Unsa gani ang purpose nato? To serve God and to take care as part of the family. Mo ng purpose nato. Of course, the greatest purpose of our lives and the greatest purpose of our ministry is to glorify God. Mo gina siya ang ultimate purpose. Nana sa tong CLDP one, but. It is also needed for us to stay true in our purpose, which is to serve God, to honor God, and to take care and serve others as well. Because we are part of a family. Dili pwede na ija ija ta ahu Dili pwede maginusara ta. Bahala na sila. Bahala na sila sa ilang kinabuhi. I remember Ma'am Chean, the secretary of our national overseer, ingon siya na, Ma'am Love, buti na lang nandito ka at na 
nahawakan ko na ang kamay mo. Ha? Ganyan? Nahawakan ko na talaga ang kamay mo. Eh bakit naman ganyan ang, uh, ang, ang feeling niyo po? And um, she told me, kasi akala ko napaka-strict mo. Kasi nasa tabi ka lang, hindi ka nagsasalita. So sometimes, kita di ay, kinahanglan ta mo get out of our way and touch someone. Kasi, actually, dili ko strikta mo yan. <laughs> ah, dili ko strikta. Pero tungod kay, people misunderstood me because I am silent and I'm always at the back. They often perceived me otherwise. So kita, as part of the family, we must stay true to our purpose. That is to serve God and to take part in the family. To serve other people as well. To be part of the family. An example, sa staying purpose focus is Apostle Paul in the church at Colossae. Apostle Paul is describing his ministry here. <coughs> si Apostle Paul, na siya sa Colossae, o gina-explain niya ang iyahang calling. O wala pa siya sa Colossae, pero nagsulat siya sa Colossians. Nagsulat siya o gina-explain niya ang iyahang ministry. So verse 24, nabasa na ito kaganina, ingon diri. I now rejoice in my sufferings for you to fill up in my flesh what is lacking in the afflictions of uh, Christ for the sake of his body which is the church. As you all know, Apostle Paul has been beaten black and blue because of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I think we've read that in Luke, no? He has been suffering all day, all night because of Christ. For the sake of Christ, gibit git siya, git torture siya for the sake of Christ. But even though he was suffering day and night, he said, I now rejoice in my sufferings For you to fill up in my flesh what is lacking in Christ's afflictions for the sake of the body of Christ. So see, dili giday ta pwede mag-selfish. Atong purpose gidi ay is to take part in the family, to take care of each other that are part of our family. Verse 25 Ingon siya, of which I, Paul, became a servant, a minister, according to the stewardship from God, which was given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. So, nakita na to, Paul is, gi-acknowledge niya nga servant siya. He is a minister. And dako kaayon, giseryoso niya pagdawat. Ang stewardship, ang paghatag sa iya sa ginoo sa mga believers sa Colossae. So para sa iya, gusto niya nga i-fulfill ang word of God sa Colossians. Maski pag gi, gi torture siya, gi pasipalan siya, gi beat siya, walay kaso sa iya for the sake of Christ. Moo ang iyahang ginatanaw na purpose niya. The mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generation but now has been revealed to his saints. To them, God willed to make known to his saints. Now, why did Paul need to explain his calling and his service? Nga naman sa verse 24, nag-explain yun siya nga siya, nag-rejoice sa iyang suffering, o gihimo ni niya For the sake of the body of Christ. And gisulti niya, ako si Paul, servant. A minister, according to the stewardship from God, which was given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Why did Paul need to explain his calling and his service? Well, let me put it this way. Kung nakadawat kag sulat, nga wala pa ni mo nakita 
Wa pa ni mo siya na meet. And this time, si Apostle Paul is a prisoner. He is imprisoned in Rome. He is accused by the Roman government of being a troublemaker. So how would you respond? That is the position of the church in Colossae. Mauna siya ang sitwasyon sa Colossae. They got a letter from somebody they never met. But Paul, who was imprisoned in Rome, who was accused by the Roman government of being a troublemaker, he was on trial for his life. And he needs to explain to them his calling because he wants them to be confident in his authority. Kasi during that time, ganagaspeak na siya against a false teaching. Kaya ang Colossian Church na puno na giyod og false teaching. And gusto niya na ibutang gud niya ang iya explain gud niya ang calling a servant siya og um og minister siya of the gospel uh, of Christ kay ngano man kinahanglan i-explain niya ang calling to be confident in his authority Know that for Paul the apostle he will serve Jesus and the saints in Colossae. Paul, para sa iyaha, his purpose is to serve Jesus as the highest possible privilege. How about you, my dear friends? How about you? Maubana ang inyong purpose? Aside from, of course, honoring and glorifying God, purpose ba ni mo nga is serve si Jesus? as the highest possible privilege on this earth. Kay nga no, di kita mismo na mga anak sa ginoo gitawag. All of us has a calling. Dili pwede mo ingon, ah, mga pastor lang ang nai calling. Ah, ang mga worship team lang ang nai calling. Ah, ang word lang ang nai calling. No, ikaw kitang tanan na ay calling. We have a calling, and that calling is yours distinctly. Unique ang imong calling is so on. Ako siguro ang akong calling is to shepherd, to be a pastor. Ikaw, your calling is to be like um, Kapitan Chongko. Ayang calling is to serve his uh, barangay. Ikaw, imong calling is to serve in the admin team. Imong calling is to sweep the floor. Kay siyempre, Kung walay mo sweep sa floor, walay mo limpio, walay mag housekeeping, walay mo kanta, di man pwede kanta tanan. Di man pwede pastor tanan. Di man pwede janitor tanan. You and I have a calling. And that calling is to serve Jesus all through our lives. Sometimes makaingon tabawa man yung calling anang inyong mga ginatawag na calling. So diri lang ko sa lingkuranan palimpio. Sa lingkuranan. Pasinaw sa lingkuranan. You know what? Jesus died for you and for me because all of us has a purpose and that is to serve Jesus and the body of Christ. Apostle Paul recognizes that he is a minister of God. He recognizes the need of the hour. He set to proclaim Christ mo ng pinaka-urgent need of the hour. That is to, to proclaim Christ. Even in our workplace, sa atong trabahuan, sa atong eskwelahan, sa atong ang pinoyanan, sa atong community, we need to embrace the need of the hour because it is urgent. Sa atong negosyo, Sa atong trabaho, urgent kaayo ang iproclaim si Jesus Christ. Serving Christ is also proclaiming Christ to everyone. Mo ginadapat ang atong i-embrace, mga igsuon ko. Dili tungod kay ay, di man ko kabaluan ang mga ilahang ginasulti about kay Jesus. You have a calling, my friend. Isa-isa ta na ay calling. Kung naamang ka sa tindahan, Kuya Mario, you have a calling. And you are set to proclaim Jesus Christ sa ato ang mga nagapalit, sa ato ang mga um, oranges, sa atong mga mangas, sa atong mga prutas. 
Kung ikaw naka sa eskwelahan, you have a calling. Na isulti yun ni mo si Jesus Christ, na si Jesus Christ na higugma sa imong mga classmates. ba? Diba? Amen? Walay lain nga maka, maka-embrace, Ana, kung dili kita nga purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ. Dapat i-recognize nato, just like Apostle Paul, that we are a minister of God. We need to recognize the need of the hour. We need to set to proclaim Christ and to teach them all of all of our friends the truth of the scriptures. Mo gani nga kita tanan din hi gina encourage kita to read our Bible day and night and to meditate on it day and night. Na muso pata mo journal pata kay ngano man kung unsa na atong nabasa mao na ang pwede nato ma share sa atong mga kauban sa eskwelahan sa atong trabahoan ug sa atong barangay ug sa atong community. Why is it urgent ang pagproclaim kay Christ? Because all men are lost without God. And the only way to God is through Jesus Christ. All men are lost without God. And the only way to God is through Jesus Christ. Note that Apostle Paul is setting himself to proclaim Christ. Maski pag nagdugo-dugo na siya. Kaya he is beaten black and blue all the time. Paul wants to teach every man concerning the truth of the scripture. Because Paul's ultimate goal is to help the believers to grow to full maturity in Christ. Kinsa ang gusto na mo mature ta sa kay Kristo? How about your hands? Can I raise? Can I see your hands? Ayan. Natandaan na nako ang inyong mga kamot. Our goal should be full maturity in Christ. Pero kung wala ta nakasabot sa atong purpose in life, we can never goal or we can never attain our goal to grow in full maturity in Christ. All of us are called by God. All of us have a calling. Pero usahay, nagpalingog-lingog lang ta. Usahay, nagpalingog-lingog lang ta. Kabalukang na kay calling to, to proclaim Christ in your neighborhood. Kabalukang na discernment, na conviction. Pero nagpalingog-lingog ta. Di bale, na ay word sa so Joel 2, 12 to 13. Hindi pa po huli ang lahat. Say it with me. Hindi pa huli ang lahat. Because in Joel 2, 12 to 13, it says, That is why the Lord says, Turn to me now while there is time. Give me your hearts. Come with fasting, weeping, and mourning. Do not tear your clothing in your grief, but tear your hearts instead. Return to the Lord your God, for He is merciful and compassionate, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. He is eager to relent and not punish. Sometimes may ngunta, Lord, late na yun, wala na pag It's never too late. You can just turn to God while there is time. Giving your heart to God. Giving your all in all to God. You come with fasting, weeping, and mourning. Tearing your heart to the Lord. Return to the Lord because He is merciful. He is compassionate. He is slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. He is eager to relent. Kanang dili na kanya. Kanang mo baksit na siya ba? Kay dili na kanya na panisan. Mo nang kita mismo. I-embrace na nato while it is time. And my last point is, dapat kita, if we know our purpose, we need to have an empowered life. And having an empowered life is a purpose-driven life. Na atay purpose. Kabaluta ko sa atong purpose. Ug dapat mauna siya ang mahimong mag-navigate sa atua. Mauna dapat ang compass nato para mo navigate sa atua towards life. Nga dili ta magpataka o kinabuhi. Dili na ta mag-fornicate. Diba? Dili ta mag-steal. Dili ta mag-awat. Dili ta mag-cheat. 
Dili ta magbugal-bugal sa laing tao, dili ta manumbag kung walay kasalanan. Dili ta mangopya, dili ta magcompromise. Because kinahanglan empowered life ta. Atong purpose is to serve our God who is pure and holy. And also to serve other people. And unsa ang mga marka para mahimong makaingontan that you are indeed purpose-driven. Unang-una, if you are obedient to the Word of God. If you are obedient to the Word of God. There is trust. There is practicing of the Word of God always. Kinahanglan permanente daw nato i-meditate ang Word of God. Ato ba nang ginahimo? Matagadlaw? We study and we meditate. We journal. Kay maugid na ang marka sa empowered life, sa purpose-driven life. So kung wala pa, don't worry. Ingon man sa Joel, return to me. It's not too late yet. You can return to me because God is waiting. And also, isa ka marka, faithful sa service sa ginoo. Unsay bot pa sabot ana. We need to partner with God in his work. Maski paglisod kaayo. Ang trabaho sa Ginoo dili gyud sayon, tinuod jud na. Pero we need to be faithful in the service of God by partnering with Jesus Christ in his service. Mao ganid sayo ta mo abot. Mag-call time ta. Mao gani nga mag magtukaw gyud ta permanente mag alert gyud ta mag ampo ta makihistorya ta sa Ginoo mo anita mo respeto ta because that is faithfulness as well in the service of God because we are partnering with God's work endurance in hardships and difficulties kasi abi man good nila kung naa na ka sa ministeryo di na ka mag suffer wala na tay problema may even gani, masig na ka sa, wala ka sa ministeryo, mag-suffer man ta, di ba? And mo lang yun na dapat natong i-embrace. All of us suffers, no one is exempted. Therefore, not only in the ministry, or therefore, atong ikinabuhi gayod ang purpose nato. Ang gihatag na purpose sa ginoo sa ato. And next, ang mark of a purpose-driven life is finishing well. Faithful to the very end. Never quit and never surrender. Kita nga mga anak sa ginoo, daghan ka yung unos na abot na sa ato ang kinabuhi. Daghan ka ayog storms. Nga dili na nato maihap sa atong mga kamot. Pero through it all, the Lord has preserved you. Gipreserbar ka sa ginoo. Kung ang imong pamilya wala pa din ha sa Ginoo, I believe. Gibutang ka sa Ginoo din hina simbahan para mamahimong blessing sa imuhang pamilya. Serve God and serve your family. I know, kita tanan, daghan ka ayatag, dili masabtan sa kinabuhi. Siguro sa imuhang trabaho, matingala ka, imuha dapat ang promotion, pero nausungan ka sa uban. Siguro sa imong skwelahan, dagko man unta kay kag mga grado, pero mula jud ka na top. Pasig nay hocus pocus <laughs> sa ilalom. Or unsa pa ba ang mga kinahanglan na? Well, maybe in your um, in your struggles in life. Makapasa na uman unta ka, pero nganong pagkahuman og kapasa na ana po sunod. All of us will suffer. All of us will suffer. But kinahanglan lang yung tamugunit sa atong ginoong Heso Kristo. Amen? Kaya walay lain tang magunitan si ginoong Heso Kristo lamang. And how do we achieve a purpose-driven life? Muna ni ang pinakauna nga ato ang ginaminister sa inyo. Ha? Atong gina-emphasize. Biblical allegiance is submission to God. Submitting to God in everything. Sa tanan na area sa atong kinabuhi, dapat si Jesus lang ang atong master, servant lang ta. And that is why, if we embrace that, 
that Jesus Christ is our master, we are able to submit to Him. Kung moingon siya, ayaw sa ni para sa imuha, kanilang sa ang himuon ni mo. Makasubmit ka because you acknowledge that Jesus is your master. We only submit to God. Biblical allegiance. Next, we need to know our true identity. Biblical identity. Kabalo namang yung taana. Our, our identity is in Christ. God owns us and we belong to Jesus Christ. And third, how do we achieve a purpose-driven life? We answer God's calling in our lives. Kabalo mo nga, no? Ang atong gift Ang gift, ang skills, ang talent nga gihatag sa Ginoa sa Imuha is your vital contribution to advance the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Kay nga no, si Jesus Christ in all his sermons, gi preach gud niya about the kingdom of God. Why? Because walay lain na king sa kingdom of God. It points to Jesus Christ. Who is the king in the kingdom of God? It's Jesus Christ. That is why while he was here on earth for three years, gina speak, gina preach good niya ang kingdom of God because it points to him. And when we answer God's calling in our lives, that is our vital contribution to advance the kingdom of Christ. Jesus Christ is the only purpose of life. Wala nagyuilain. Jesus Christ is the only purpose of our life. He is the reason for living. Until we embrace the truth that Jesus Christ is the reason for living, we can never live with a purpose. We can never live with a purpose kung wala yun nato na sabtan o wala nato gi-embrace ang truth na si Jesus Christ lang yun ang only purpose nato sa atong kinabuhi. That is why wala tay lain na purpose but to glorify Jesus Christ, to glorify God, to honor God. Jesus Christ is the only purpose of living. He is our only reason for living. And once more, let me say that until we fully embrace that truth, we cannot live with a purpose. In 2 Corinthians 5, 14 to 15, basahon do nato tanan, for the love of Christ controls us because we have concluded this, that one has died for all, therefore all have died. And He died for all, that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for Him who for their sake died and was raised. This truth is so compelling. So compelling that the love of Jesus Christ is controlling you and me. Jesus Christ died for all. Para kita tanan might no longer live for ourselves, but for Him. Mo na siya ang gist sa purpose-driven life. Jesus Christ is the only purpose of our life. He died for you. Abi lang nato, sayon sayunon lang nato ang pagkamatay sa atong Ginoo. Kung wala siya namatay, we won't have this life. Mag-enjoy ta sa atong life. Nga man, kay si Ginoong Hesus Kristo namatay sa krus sa Kalbaryo para sa imuha ug sa kuha. Are you ready to live a life of purpose? Are you ready to live a life of purpose in Jesus Christ? Are you ready to embrace 
that Je- the truth that Jesus Christ is our purpose, our only purpose in life. Mo nang dili nato pakaulawan si Jesus Christ. Sa eskulahan dili ta mangopia kay di nato gusto pakaulawan si Jesus Christ. Sa trabahoan dili nato gusto nga maleta kay di nato pakaulawan si Jesus Christ. Sa simbahan, dili na ito gusto nga malate po ta, kaya di na ito pakaulawan ang atong ginong Yeso Kristo. Why? Because ang standards ni Jesus taas. Mona, here in this house, we want to cultivate the culture of punctuality and stewardship. Embracing the purpose of life. And that is Jesus Christ alone. That is Jesus Christ alone. Are you ready to have Jesus as your one defining purpose? Jesus must be our consuming passion and obsession. Dapat atong passion si Jesus Christ lang. Dapat atong obsession si Jesus Christ lang. And in whatever we do, we do it for Jesus. We do it for the glory of Jesus. We do it to give honor to Jesus. Are you ready to have Jesus as your one defining purpose? Idukot do ninyo inyong mga ulo o ipiyong inyong mga mata. Jesus is the ultimate giver of life and the ultimate determiner of our purpose. If you have Jesus Christ, it is never a road that leads to nowhere. If Jesus is our ultimate purpose. Igsoon, basig wala kay purpose, kay wala kay Jesus Christ. Or basig na kay Jesus Christ, pero nagpabanjing-banjing ka. Seryoso si Ginoong Heso Kristo. Seryoso siya sa iyang gugma ka nato. He controls us. His love controls us. Seryoso siya. He is in the business of saving you and me. Kaya kung dili pa siya seryoso, dili siya magpakamatay, no? Para sa imo, ha? That's a very costly grace. Igsuon, giduko man ni mo yung mga ulo. O gipiyong ni mo yung mga mata. Duko yung ulo. Piyong imong mga ata. And I want you to raise your hand to those of you who want Jesus Christ. Di pataana, freely God gave Himself for you and for me. And sometimes ang atong today, dili na nakauyon sa purpose nato in Jesus Christ. I want you to raise your hands, no looking around. Say your peace to Jesus. Talk to Jesus. Talk to our Jesus. Talk to your Jesus. He is the only one. He is the only one who will lead your path. He will lead your road. Wala ko nagbino ang igsoon ko. Dako kayo ang gugma ni Jesus Christ para sa imuha. Dako kayo na siya na digosyo kunta. Pero He has freely given that grace for you and for me. Iksoon ko, ayaw palampasi. Kaninga time. It's never too late to acknowledge Jesus Christ. Ipataas inyong mga kamot. Kaning youth na itong anadin hi, ipataas inyong mga kamot. Youth, no looking around. Sige, taas inyo inyong mga kamot. Mga youth, nga nasa atubangan, nasa ikaduha. Taas inyo inyong mga kamot. Acknowledging that indeed Jesus Christ is our Savior. And repeat after me, Lord Jesus. Gipataas na ako akong kamot. Gipataas na ako akong kamot. Gina acknowledge na ako ginoo. Gina acknowledge na ako ginoo. Na ikaw ginoong Dios. Na ikaw ginoong Dios. Jesus Christo. Jesus Christo. Na matay sa krus sa kalbaryo. Na matay sa krus sa kalbaryo. Para kanako. Para kanako. Ug para dili kami. Ug para dili kami. Mahulog. Mahulog. Sa lake of fire. Sa lake of fire. Ginoong Dios. Ginoong Dios. Karun palang daan. Karun palang daan. Numangayo mik pasaylo. 
sa among mga sala. Sa among mga sala. Hinluoy ang among mga kasing-kasing Ginoo. Hinluoy ang mga kasing-kasing. Pasayluwa kami sa among mga sala. Pasayluwa kami sa among mga sala. Og himo ang kaming putli. Og himo ang kaming putli. Diha sa imuhang atubangan. Diha sa imong atubangan. Ginoo ang Hesus Kristo. Ginoo ang Hesus Kristo. Ikaw ang among purpose. Ikaw ang among purpose. Ikaw ang among katuyuan. Ikaw ang among katuyuan. Nganong nabuhi kami? Nganong nabuhi? Kami. Niining kalibutan. Niining kalibutan. Ginoong Hesus Kristo. Ginoong Hesus Kristo. Dawaton kanamo. Dawaton kanamo. Bilang Dios. Bilang Dios. Og personal na manluluwas. Og personal na manluluwas. Sa among kinabuhi. Sa among kinabuhi. Guniti Ginoong Hesus Kristo. Guniti Ginoong Hesus Kristo. Ang among kinabuhi. Ang among kinabuhi. Aron dili kami motaliwas. Aron dili kami motaliwas. Sa katuyuan nimo para kanamo. Sa katuyuan nimo para kanamo. Hesus Kristo. Sinuhong Hesus Kristo. Salamat. Salamat. Kay imo na kaming gidawat. Kay imo na kaming gidawat. Na imong mga anak. Na imong mga anak. Og karon Ginoo. Og karon Ginoo. Padayon nga isulat. Padayon nga isulat. Ang akong pangalan. Ang akong pangalan. Sa libro sa kinabuhi. Sa libro sa kinabuhi. Aron sa pagbalik nimo. Aron sa pagbalik nimo. Niining kalibutana. Niining kalibutana. Madalami nimo Ginoo. Madala kami nimo. Og magmalipayon kami. Og magmalipayon. Nga magsudong kanimo. Nga magsudong. Og mauban kanimo. Mauban kanimo. Og mopuyo kauban kanimo. Og mopuyo kauban. Dito sa langit. Dito sa. Nga imong gipreparar. Nga imong gipreparar. Para kanamo. Para kanamo. Salamat Ginoo. Salamat Ginoo. Ikaw ang akong Dios. Ikaw ang among Dios. Ikaw pud ang akong manluluwas. Ikaw ang among manluluwas. Ikaw ang akong Ginoo. Ikaw ang among karon. Karon. Og hangtod sa hangtod. Og hangtod sa. Salamat Ginoo. Salamat Ginoo. Hallelujah. And for our reflection questions, I hope you can answer this questions. Did you ever ask yourself, what is the purpose of life? Niabot ba sa imuhang kinabuhi nga nangutana ka? Unsa man ang katuyuan sa akong kinabuhi? Yes or no? Kung yes, why? Nga nun nakapangutana mang kaana. Ikaduha, how can today be purposeful for God's glory and honor? Unsaon ako nga ang karon mahimong purposeful, mahimong maka-honor gyud sa akong Ginoo nga manluluwas nako. Na In everything that we do, we should always acknowledge God as our purpose in life. The wonderful God, the magnificent God, our beautiful Redeemer, who is worthy of our highest praise. Our wonderful, magnificent God, we are always humbled by the life you gave to us. Lord, we acknowledge that you are our beautiful Redeemer. You are just worthy of our highest praise. You are indeed wonderful. You are indeed magnificent, God. At your feet I bow. There is none like you. For all that I have found. ninyo inyong mga kamot. I'm humbled by the life you gave. Beautiful Redeemer you are. Worthy of my highest praise. Hallelujah. At your feet I bow. At your feet I bow. The 
there is none like you, Lord. There is none like you. For all that I have found, all I want is you, Lord. For all that I have found, all I want is you. For all the wonders you do and all that you are. it's only Jesus Christ ang purpose sa among mga kinabuhi. Ginong Dios, we are so humbled 
by the life you gave on the cross of Calvary. And you are wonderful. You are amazing. You are magnificent, O oh God. And we honor you today. Hallelujah. As we prepare our tithes and offerings, let me read to you Deuteronomy 16, 16b to 17. They shall not appear before the Lord empty-handed. Every man shall give as he is able according to the blessing of the Lord your God that he has given you. 10% of all our increase. Of all our income, that belongs to God. O kinahanglan ihatag na nato. Kung naamoy um, ishare sa atong church building fund, na ay nakabutang din ha sa atong papel, kindly encircle that po para mabutang nato sa fund aside from your tithes. You know, our offerings, di ba ang tithes? Kay belong to God man. Atong offering, mo na siya ang atong ginatanong. O kung wala kung wala kay gitanom wala gitay anihon hallelujah um, the account numbers and um, our account name is now flash on the screens thank you very much sa atong mga kauban nga naa sa online dako pud kaayo inyong contribution po and helping the church in all the ministries here thank you very much and of course for um, from all of us pataas na nato karon and we will start reciting our declaration beginning now everybody I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, financial blessings and breakthrough upon me and upon the members of this church. I will continue to be faithful in supporting the work of God. I will continue to be committed in doing the work of God according to His will. I declare breakthrough in our businesses, breakthrough in our jobs, Breakthrough in our families. The sources of my income will be protected and the work of my hands will be blessed by the power of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Do you believe that? I declare blessings from on high. Hallelujah. Do you believe that? Amen and amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Among ipataas ang among tithes and offerings, O God, because we believe by faith. We will be provided, O oh Lord, because you are our Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides. Our great Jehovah Jireh. Lord, we offer to you with all of our hearts, Ginong Dios, among tithes, among offerings, o among share, Ginong Dios, a church building fund. We believe, O oh God, that as we give to you, O oh Lord, a hundredfold, a thousandfold will be placed upon our cabins, O oh Lord. Thank you. Oh Lord, thank you very much. We honor you with our treasure because our heart belongs to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Most High. Let us now place our tithes and offerings as we sing, be blessing and glory and honor and praise. Hallelujah. Kinahanglan as Jesus Christ, di ba, receive na nato si Jesus Christ bilang personal Lord and Savior. So, siya na ang purpose sa atong kinabuhi. Siya na ang ato ang magbalantay permanente. O ang atong mga himuon dapat nakaglorify na sa ginoo o naga honor na sa ginoo. Be blessing. Be blessing and glory.
His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift His countenance upon you and give you peace. May the love of God the Father and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the sweet communion and fellowship of the Holy Spirit will be with us now and forevermore. And the people of the Lord will shout. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah be to the living God. Thank you for coming. God bless you. See you again next Sunday. Thank you so much. For your tithes and offering, you may deposit or make online transfer to the church bank account. Please refer to these details. Current account name. Church of God World Mission of the Philippines. Current account number. 2091-021-091 May God bless you as you give to the Lord.